Hi guys, welcome back to Sammy's Place. I'm Sammy. Today's video, I'm going to touch on Charles Reddick, who is the IRS commissioner, has announced when we will be getting our refunds. Or he's not so sure. But let's get to this video. If you guys have not seen the IRS Commissioner Charles Reddick video, I'm going to link it down in the description below. But I've took out a key point from there, and I'm going to play it for you guys, a little snippet of it right here. If you want to know, like, all the other millions of people that are waiting, we have an issue called backlog, which means that when so many early filers filed at the same time or around the same time, we kind of jumped back in the system somehow. The system was not updated. Not only that, but I read on this news article, which I'll also link below, is that there's something also called jam log. Jam log is all of our refunds are kind of like on lockdown somehow. So. He speaks in the press conference that I'm going to show you guys a clip from uh, what's actually going on, how there is an errors department that is based out in Kansas somewhere where they're having like severe weather storms and they're sent home. But he did say they're diligently working as hard as they can, which we keep hearing the full video down below. The Treasury Inspector General for the Tax Administration reported that there are 12 million paper returns waiting to be processed by the IRS uh, and another 12.5 million returns that have been held up during the processing. Alarmingly, it happens, it appears that this backlog is growing. How long do you estimate it will take the IRS to eliminate this 24 million return Backlog. Great so question. About the backlog here. Great when question. What do you think? And what have you calculated? Well, we we aren't in sync with the 24 million backlog. That in, that would include business and other related returns. And typically, what we publish is our returns for individuals. The individual numbers for um, returns filed prior to January 1 of this year is 2.4 million returns. The total that are in processing is 7.3 million returns and as we've discussed um, previously one of the issues that we ran into with respect to the calls for the extension is our ability to actually get through the correspondence that we have so that we can actually look at the information taxpayers have provided us with respect to the approximately 5 million returns that are in suspense so between 2019 and 2020 we have 5 million returns in process that we have looked at we reached out to taxpayers either for additional forms, computations, consistency issues, identity theft issue, verification for the taxpayer, everything that you would expect that we would do. That number is about five million. And we sent out and requested information from that pool of taxpayers. They probably, we believe some of those certainly would have sent correspondence back to us. We get about a million to a million and a half pieces of correspondence per week. We process about a million and a half pieces of correspondence per week. For that purpose, process means we open the correspondence, we input data, we transcribe, we transition to where it's supposed to go. So there's a delay. One of the issues, if I can carry on, sir? Sure. One of the issues with respect to the extension of the tax filing season is we currently have 13,760 customer service representatives who answer the telephones for taxpayers call into the Internal Revenue Service. We, uh, under the most recent legislation, we got authority to bring on a thousand more. Thousand? This goes back to these, the, these numbers were determined before we got into the situation mm -hmm. we got into this year. So obviously we got, we got backed up on our calls. We, when we shut down, we got backed obviously. up on the mail. You know, it's, it's a connected system. Well, let, let me put it this way. How long is it gonna take you to finish the backlog? If we, yes. That's pretty simple. Each one of these cases is individual, so we kind of hesitate on saying that, actually, to come out with a number. Um, we would hope to be through this backlog by the summer. To the extent some, some we can resolve instantly, 
Some we can resolve and it takes us a while to get from the taxpayer. If we have to send follow-up information to the taxpayer, that one would take longer. Another question, sir, I think that you have that relates to this is our error resolution service, which is in mm. Kansas City. And Kansas City, as you know, shut down with weather and some other issues. We used to, the cases that went to error resolution used to be resolved within three to five business days. And it's now taking us 10 to 14 business days to get through those cases. So the best I could do, and I would tell you that most people um, inside the Internal Revenue Service would certainly prefer I not say this, but I, I would tell you the summer. What I will tell you is our employees with me as well will work as hard as we possibly can work to get through this. The importance of getting through this is not lost on anyone in the Internal Revenue Service. I never questioned uh, the work of the workers for 24 years I've been here. We appreciate you being in, in, in the place where you're the boss. But I'd like to know. Let me, let me before I ask my second question, I want to just, a quick answer would be fine on this one. Uh, the 24 million backlog, according to the TIGDA, T-I-G, T-A, both business and individual, 24 million. That's that's a, quite a backlog. Yes. And that was in the report. Yes. You referred to before. That's a lot of backlog. You, we always, you know. This is reported in your report. Agreed, but I, I, I believe the committee understands. We always have an inventory and it's a significant inventory. We're getting about 10 to 15 million returns per week. And that's just individual returns. And you add the business returns to that, we're gonna have those kinds of numbers. Well, the question is, how many people do they need to do the backlog? I mean, I think that's we, a reasonable we, question. We, how long is it gonna take to get it done? To give you an example. How do you ask for resources if you can't answer those questions? To give you an example, sir, we asked for 20,000 CSRs and we got 13,000. And that type of a, a ratio is consistent throughout our agency. Well, you got the folks up here that are gonna fight make sure you have the resources and it's better for you if you tell us you know approximately how much time i know one issue takes longer than another issue so there you have it guys he doesn't even know summer for those who don't know the first day of summer is june 21st i am so oh praying keep praying Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying that money comes, guys. Focus on what you need to do. Nobody knows. I do have um, some unemployment news. If you guys have filed for unemployment, your refund might be coming a little sooner, and I'll tell you why in my next video. Bye.